Hello everyone, welcome to One Omega Night. Uh, so guys, if you didn't subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, click on subscribe button and then click bell icon to get notifications regularly when I upload a new video. So guys, uh, this video was requested by one of our uh, viewers. So he wanted to make a banana, uh, so 3D banana model in Blender. Uh, so now let's get started. So before uh, getting to this uh, video, uh, I will tell you that. Uh, if you want a best PC uh, hardware compatible parts or anything just like me uh, links are in the description uh, for parts which I used uh, for me, my PC to build and uh, so guys uh, here you can see uh, there is an arrow here a box like thing if you, did, uh, if you didn't see anything just need to press N on your keyboard it will open a new tab here you can see this is a tab first of all i quickly uh, enable screencast key so that uh, you can follow me here as you can see when i press any key it will uh, show the key which i used for, for the that action so i will just scroll up uh, here sorry uh, i'll just tick mark background here here you can see just tick mark it and click on the arrow here you can see arrow just click it and here add image then go to here open and select the image it was in desktop i'll select this image here and I'll click on open so the image was added but uh, you are not seeing that image so why it's not showing the reason is uh it's on like a side angle which means it will only see in a particular angle uh front view or side view so for that uh, we need to go into orthographic which is which means uh we have to edit your uh, 3d models in a perspective view or a side angle view so if you have a keyboard just press 5 on your keyboard so guys this is a perspective view and uh, here uh, we don't need this uh, tool uh, here so i'll just press n to close it so that uh, we can edit uh, neatly and we don't need we don't need this much of space to cover so let's just the size here this much so that uh, you can get the full uh, modeling view so now i'll press one on my keyboard so guys uh, here uh, you can see the image of the banana so next thing we have to do is uh, move the cube here so guys one, one more thing that uh, I'm using the default cube here so you need to uh, understand I'm not using anything online right. that's the default cube so I'll just press tab and go to edit mode here and then press Z then go to here Y for it then press A to digital print here uh until now it it now what you can do is uh just press b to select a box selection and select everything oh so okay it's uh here when i box it you can see i'm in a point selection so we need to go to here in a face selection so automatically it will change it to face selection here bottom you can see point line and face Select face selection and press E to e extrude an object. And if you want to rotate or if you want to move it, use the tools. And it it's not a perfect. I'm telling once again, it's not perfect. But uh, as the video goes on, it will uh, model perfect. So now uh, I will zoom in here. Uh, here we need to rotate. So rotate just press R and uh, rotate a little bit and move it left this much and move it upwards. So that's it guys. Uh, just hit A to deselect everything and zoom out and repeat the same process uh, for the uh, other side also. So this uh, B to box select then extrude until you see a point where you can move your cube here this much and uh, here uh, you can uh, scale 
scale here and move it a little bit high. Uh, now you just need to rotate then uh, scale it once again. I think uh, I have to scale it as small bit better and move it to this area. So it looks uh, good. I will exclude once again. So it looks perfect. I will rotate it a little bit and uh, it's not okay. So I will uh, change it afterwards. But I will, I think I will rotate a little bit uh, like this. Just a bit. Uh, don't need to worry about this, guys. Uh, we will edit on point selection using point selection here. Now we we'll just got to have here and let's scale it down once again. Here also, don't need to worry. I will add a look at uh, here also. Then exclude once again. Uh, then scale. Then exclude here a little bit. Scale it a little bit like this. Then exclude this much. Uh, it will be a deformed shape. So uh, we can uh, change it or modify it later words also. So I'll zoom out here. Then uh, zoom in. And now we will add some loop cuts or any changes uh, we can do on this model. Uh, for now, uh, I will add loop cut in between here. So hold control and press R to add a loop cut. Here you can see it, it added loop cut. Then uh, move it uh, down like this. It's okay. Now uh, go to here bottom select point selection then select uh, uh, press A to deselect everything then click on here and move it uh, I think undo it and now press B to select uh, the vertices here and move it along a little bit down press A to deselect everything then B selection and move it a little bit so here you can see the uh, banana form is appearing so once again A to deselect once again control R to get a loop cut here uh, you can scale uh, the, the loop cuts here and A to deselect then B to box selection and if you are in a position where you can uh, cannot adjust you can press G to move it as freely as it is. Press A to deselect once again, B, G to move it. Now zoom out and check out how the banana looks. So here we have some uh, uh, different shapes. So we will quickly select it. A to deselect everything, then press B to select, then G to move it in the one. So guys, uh, this is the shape. Sorry, I am not sorry to here. So this is the basic shape. Uh, it's not perfect, uh, but uh, we have to do a little bit more editing and more to it. So I'll just press one on my keyboard and B, then go to wireframe, and uh, we'll do some uh, here, guys. Uh, this is a pointing thing, so. You need to model every pointing thing here. So, uh, this might be okay. Then once again, look at here. Uh, it doesn't matter, but uh, for uh, giving a thickness, I'm adding a look, simple look at here. Okay, it looks it's okay. I will zoom in once again, and I will add another look at here. It's okay. Here, coming to here. Deselect everything, then uh, control R, scroll down, and here we can exclude. Now, uh, I think it uh, doesn't look this good, so I'll just undo it. So, what I'll do is I will uh, go to here, line selection, and select the whole line area here, and just scale it a little bit so it can sync the picture with the back side. So, here uh, it's not exact as it is, but uh, I will try 
to uh, so I will reset everything then I will start uh, once again here then I will explore uh, like this and here to reset uh, guys uh, coming to this part we have to deform the, the shape here so for that uh, just set the select the uh, go to here point selection select the right point then press G uh, to get a deform shape here and A to deselect then press D once again deform and uh, D then repeat the process until uh, you get a desired shape D once again then D so this side of our banana is ready and uh, <coughs> sorry for that uh, just it uh, reduces the size here deselection select this part and reduce the size here and we just should add a looper in between here or you can exclude uh, you can use exclude here also and move it down to get a depth to it a to deselect zoom out and uh, here go, go guys uh, we have a basic uh, shape of a banana I so just go to here solid view then this is how it looks the basic banana here and uh, guys this is uh, a basic uh, low polygon not the high resolution or high quality 3d model it's only a low polygon so now guys uh, we need uh, to bezel the edges here so hold alt and shift uh, first go to here line uh, selection and hold and uh, hold shift and alt and right click on your uh, edge here banana edge so that uh, you can select that entire line repeat the process until uh, for four edges here and now uh, what you can do is you have to deselect these areas and here is uh, guys uh, here you can see the underneath of our box there are some lines selected so you have to deselect uh, that boxes also and now you have to zoom out now just press ctrl V to bezel the edges little bit so you can uh, feel like it's a banana a little bit then press A to deselect everything uh, next thing what you do is uh, just press tab and just go to object mode and uh, now uh, we can go for modifiers so just go to here and you can drag it uh, as much as you can and go to here modifiers select add modifier and select uh, subdivision surface modifier and select simple and just uh, click on uh, view and render to 4 now I am in tools panel here you can see I am in tools panel this is a tools panel in that just click on smooth here so that it can uh, get a smooth layer here or if you don't want to use modifier just uh, click on close here and uh, you will get a smooth option now press uh, 1 on your keyboard move your banana to top here and if you want to rotate your banana just click on it and rotate it so here guys uh, we need to add some colors uh, to our object so go to your materials click on the uh, use notes button and note that guys I am in a cycle sender not in blender's blender render so now select any color here so uh, I'll just click on color here this one and uh, let's check out how it looks in materials so it looks okay color is sync so, so for the middle part uh, we need to like we need to add some glow glow effect here and now we need to just need to add some surface to it so to add surface just uh, 
whole shift under C, press under the cursor, then uh, shift A, mesh, then play, scale it, then uh, click on new, select any color, lighter color, and uh, that's it. Uh, next thing we have to do is uh, select your camera here, click on users button, select the size, size, size should be like a 4 for the center then the strength should be like uh, 1200 in the center then press 1 on your keyboard then press shift D then X move it on X axis then move it on, move it on Z axis then select the strength or uh, the color and change it to 2000 and reduce the size to 2 now uh, we will uh, duplicate this uh, platform here right click then shift it D rotate and X it will rotate on X axis and uh, we will move on it on Y and rotate once again depending upon the scene and uh, now here uh, we can see we have some scene set up here I will just press 0 on my keyboard to get a better angle so I will zoom in then press N on your keyboard scroll up and click on lock camera to view then press N to close so you can easily uh, change the camera view or perspective so guys uh, here uh, we are getting the problem here you can see I am still uh, an active banana image so just press N the keyboard scroll down and uh, see uh, the here background the shantik mark it will it will be gone and uh, now set the angle here so just need to check it out in render view to check it out in render view press shift to z so guys this is a banana how it looks uh, after render so i need some uh, changes to me but it's okay uh, now you just need to quickly render this image press f12 on your keyboard to render this image so everyone it will take time to render the image so i'll skip the rendering process uh, here is the final rendered image of uh, our 3d banana and uh, that's it guys for this uh, video if you enjoyed the video give it a like and if you didn't subscribe to my youtube channel click on subscribe button and then click the bell icon to get notifications regularly when i upload a new video and see you in our next video guys